or TV News Live from anywhere in the world on our website www.calltvnews.com Click on Live TV on our website and watch us live. And welcome to Call TV Primetime News. To follow us on Twitter, click on Twitter icon on our website. And Facebook, click on the Facebook and YouTube to see all our previous news production. You can also watch us live on YouTube. Click Call TV, leave a space, then news. Call TV News, a 24-hour news station. Welcome back. It's still Call Digest Extra this beautiful uh, Saturday morning. Well, in some parts of Lagos, it was really heavy in terms of rain, uh, wherever you're reaching us from. I don't know if it did the same happen. But, uh, well, I want to say glad to know that you're with us and we're going to this segment where we have a discussion that, of course, at this time, what else we will talk about, which is uh, this rerun election in some states, specifically uh, Abia. Imo and Taraba state. In fact, in Taraba is interesting that a woman uh, is almost uh, becoming the governor. Let's see how it falls out. Anyway, I have here live in the studio with me uh, uh, somebody who is very much, he, he loves Nigeria, I would say, <laughs> and he, he is very interested in talking about how things move forward. Well, I have here uh, Hassan Stan Labo, he's ret retired colonel. In other words, he's experienced. Uh, one or two things when it comes to <laughs> being uh, in the place where you protect the territorial integrity of the country, which is very strategic. Welcome to have you. I'm glad to have you on uh, Call Digest Extra this morning. Thank you, Iman. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, well, in order not to you know, go around, but first of all, before we go into our major topic, uh, in the, the week-long uh, activities, which is mostly centered on transition, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, how do you view the... Uh, the way and manner, uh, you know, they've gone about in terms of the government in power now, in, in office and those, uh, you know, the party that has won the election coming in. What's your, you know, brief opinion about how things have gone? Is it a, a reenactment of the 2015 elections, especially the presidential election? Yeah, uh, thanks so much, Ima. I appreciate it. Um, frankly speaking, I must applaud the rapport I see existing between the outgoing president and um, Mr. President-elect. Mm. Going by what we saw by the visuals that came on air, was it yesterday or the day before, you know, in the course of um, the president-elect's visit to the State House. I was so impressed to see smiles on faces and so on. We need that such reconciliatory spirit mm. to guard the transition mm. all, all, all through. And um, it is my anticipation that um, uh, the transition will go on smoothly. We shan't have any problems to worry about. Uh, so that uh, maybe I should chip in that um, it is important that very, very imp uh, reasonable persons be put in place to run the transition itself, mm. uh, especially on the part of the incoming uh, government, mm. taking into consideration the fact that the transition uh, team would have a lot to do that will be able to spell out the way forward mm. for the incoming administration. Mm. We need men of impeccable character, men who don't have shady uh, things surrounding their persons and mm. so on. And I think that should also be the sort of coloration I will see that should be brought to bear on the individuals who would be taken off in the new administration. Mm. Nigerians craved for a change, and I want to assure you that, look, in any new incoming government. Show me your cabinet, I will tell you how serious you are as a government. Mm. Mm. The so same I, I, thing... And we the, have these people. Yes, the, same, the yeah. same thing I want to say to General Buhari, somebody I, 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 I love a great deal, mm. uh, irrespective of the fact that he's from my constituency, the military. Mm. He's somebody who has always been there, has, 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 has you know, he, he avails this level of integrity that checks you as mm. an individual mm. when you look at this person, his pattern lifestyle and all. Mm. I want that to be reflected mm. in the faces we see mm. appearing on his cabinet mm. Mm. because that, that's the first place from which Nigerians... Uh, absolutely. You just said something. Probably, you know, as the days and weeks go by, yes, we might please. have to look at, uh, you know, the import of having a history of integrity and how yeah. that eventually pays off yeah. when, you know, you want to come out, for instance, 
in this instance, uh, elected position. But that's not a topic for today, obviously. Yeah, yeah, now, right. coming back to what we really want to discuss uh, this morning, uh, let's start with the governorship election. Because, of course, the presidential election came, went. Yeah. And now the real challenge now that is facing Nigerians, and especially in these three states, is the governorship election. First of all, why, why the rerun? Well, uh, the rerun came up because um, uh, elections in some of these areas, I would say, mm. were rather inconclusive. We had all sorts of uh, issues mm. which uh, uh, INEC, after going through and assessed, felt it was necessary that these reruns be carried out in such areas. Mm. And um, when INEC, which, thank God, with the last amendment we had to, uh, to, to the Act, that's the Electoral Act, mm. gave our INEC a leverage of independence today to be able to speak out and everybody listens. Mm. It has spoken that, look, there is a need for reruns to be taken in some of these states. The only thing is that I'm beginning to wonder, by well, they know better because they see more than probably some of us see. But I wonder why a state like Rivers... It's not part of this rerun business. Absolutely. We're going to come yes. into that. We're going to come into yes. that. Not just rivers. The, even Aqua Ibom, as they say, yes. uh, should have been among uh, the states to have experienced yes. this Those rerun states, today. Yes. But before we come into why not rivers or Aqua Ibom mm. included in the rerun states, yes, first of all, um, the, 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 the rerun came about, like you said, I was because there was unsatisfactory reports about how the election turned out mm. in all of these places. And I like, with their facts, with the facts on ground, yeah. came up with the rerun. Um, do you think at this point that uh, we've made some progress in terms of elections, uh, electioneering at the state level? Because like I said, the federal level is done and dusted. There's no controversy. I mean, there were just skirmishes of clashes here and there. Do we still have that challenge? in terms of running, uh, having an election at the state level? Irrespective of all that has happened, uh, we must give some kudos to INEC. The amount of uh, 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 irregularities that have been reported so far and the number of states affected, mm. I think is a bit less than what we had experienced in 2011. Mm. Two, the level of do I say brigandage or mm. killings and so on mm. that went on in this election mm. in comparison to 2011 mm. it has reduced the death level 2011 we experienced about 800 and something mm. Mm. especially the northeast area and so on when you do your comparisons today you find out that some of those areas mm. where we had serious issues mm. in 2011 appear to be some of the most peaceful. quiet and peaceful mm. areas today, you know, mm. and things like that, you know. Uh, instead, uh, some of the areas where I never expected us to have problems, mm. I saw problems imagine, and I don't know. For instance, I, 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 I didn't see why the situation we were having in Aquaibom was imagined. You may want to, you, somebody who listens to me might say that you probably was not, you weren't following the mm. trend in Aquaibom. Mm. All I was looking at at, at Aquaibom was a state which presumably I assumed to be peaceful, mm. a state that was actually enjoying so much abundance of wealth mm. and the uh, chief executive I thought was doing quite well mm. because I have worked in Aquaibom mm. when it was the old Aquaibom, mm. old in the sense that it had not been developed the way the present uh, uh, chief executive had, uh, had made it to look. Mm. I only see it today from televisions and I say, wow, was this the Aquaibom I worked <laughs> in? It has changed completely. Okay. But well, there may be some other factors mm. that led to all this. Uh, absolutely, other factors. Polit yes. Political yes. factors. Now, yeah. it, it's been said that, uh, now, if, even if you follow, this is a bit of a digression, so to, if you follow, yes. the, somebody, an analyst was telling me that if you follow the comments of uh, the co upcoming British elections, the, yeah. the, you will think that the arguments were for a country that is having economic issues like African countries. But you see, politicians will always be politicians. They will come out and trying to get the vote, whichever way possible, especially in the democratic setting, which is yeah. a good example, mm. not the, the, the violent one. 
Now, going straight, going really deep into the supplementary elections. Yes. Um, now, we have in three states. We have Imo, we have Abia, and we have Taraba, Taraba states. Does this suggest, assuming that uh, the outcome of the elections are going to be very successful, do, would this be a pointer to, for us, going into the future, have staggered elections? Yes, of course. And to me, I would say it's a good thing. It's a good thing because, um, one, I don't know, as a nation, we have, um, I must use this word, we have refused to ensure that our manpower holding in the law enforcement agencies are adequate to cater for unforeseen situations. So it becomes a blessing in disguise to us if we have staggered elections, mm. it means that we can now concentrate the little manpower we have in terms of law enforcement agencies mm. on states and be able to avail adequate security during elections. Mm. Uh, in fact, in my own thinking, I had thought that with all the signals we saw in the state like Rivers, mm. we saw enough signals that Rivers was going to burn. Mm. Yes. So the I was expecting that INEC on its own, mm. with its own wisdom, would have probably singled out Rivers and one or two other states and say, the next Saturday we shall have yours. Mm. Let's mm. concentrate on this. So that yeah. enough manpower will be. But unfortunately, things mm. like that didn't happen. Did not happen. Yes. Uh, well, uh, at this point, let me just, uh, pardon me, we do have uh, our correspondent, Ajibade Awufeso, who is live with us. Hello, Ajibade, good morning. Well, um, it's, it's glad to have you again. We, just, we, we spoke last night uh, about uh, how things are unfolding in Imo. Uh, Ajibade, um, I know that a lot may have happened now. I believe positively. What is really the situation as we speak? Hello, Ajibale. Uh, I think uh, we, we lost uh, the contact there. Ajibale is still with us. Uh, we lost uh, uh, contacting him on phone, but uh, don't go away. And uh, let me come back to you, uh, Kone Hassan, yes, retired. Yes. Uh, you were talking about the fact that uh, things are peaceful. We'll get back to him. Yeah. But in the meantime, uh, you were talking about uh, the elections as well. Yes, yes. I was saying that um, some of these trouble spots, mm. which uh, we had enough information that look, from the look of things, mm. it might be a bit troublesome. Rough. Yes, like rivers you were citing. Yes, it would have been proper that look, we single out some of these states mm. and run theirs a week or two later, so that we'll be able to have enough manpower strength mm. to avail adequate security mm. in the course of the elections, mm. because um, even at uh, after the, 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 the presidential elections, mm. even when we were having the gubernatorial elections, there was so much talk about, we had all the signals. And sincerely speaking, I'm not too impressed at our reaction as a nation. I don't want to just single out any institution. Mm. I'm not mm. too impressed at our reaction as a nation towards what's happening in rivers. Mm. Okay? Mm. The environment itself... I'm sorry to say, it's one that is infested by militants and so on. Mm. We should know all this. Mm. We know the environment enough. Why are we that lackadaisical mm. in reacting enough to the situation in River State? Mm. And this is what it has boiled down into. Mm. Now, a local government election again is coming up. Those who felt they never had upper hand in the last election mm. will now want to create mayhem. Mm. And we're all just looking and talking about it casually. Well... Um, I, I, I kind of um, want to uh, <coughs> agree with your passion for this um, issue about uh, bringing about security. Of course, uh, that's your background. <laughs> but, but again, the, the email supplementary, the, the supplementary elections uh, turned out to be a bit more uh, interesting because uh, even in, for instance, in Imo State, yeah. in fact, the PDP did say that the entire election be cancelled. Yes, right. And that a fresh election be held all over the state. Yeah, yeah. While the APC, which at the point before 
the trouble in those, or, you know, or lo local governments and so on, mm. uh, had issues, uh, did say that, uh, that was, it wasn't necessary. Mm. Why these different divergent views about ca entire total cancellation, and then the other one saying that, oh, it's just those areas that had issues. Does it have to do with uh, any uh, manipulation going on somewhere? I, I think that's politicians for you. At times, they really behave like kids, I must say. Uh, irrespective of their, 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 their status, their, uh, yes, status, uh, and uh, you know, wealth of experience, um, and that is why you have an independent body like INEC, who should be able to look at the situation on ground and take a decisive, you know, uh, step, uh, irrespective of what both sides are saying. Oh, uh, I, uh, well, we're on air. There are certain things that cannot be said, mm -hmm. but the fact is that if one party has seen that look. I think I am leading, mm. uh, such a party will not easily concede mm. to the idea of having a complete rerun all over the state. Mm. And if another party, for instance, envisages that look <laughs> like the situation is now, I'm highly disadvantaged. Such a party would want to press mm. for a complete mm. rerun so as to see how he'll be able to garner some uh, breath. It's just like the six weeks or no six weeks postponement uh, <laughs> and so on. We all knew where well the arguments we are going to. Mm. So it's, it's about the same thing that is playing out here. But thank God for the sort of individual we have in INEC, mm. Professor Jagger, a man of integrity. Mm. Uh, you can't. Uh, uh, you can't buy him over. Mm. Uh, we, we've known his. Uh, uh, we've known him from time back. Mm. So such a man will be able to look at the whole situation, take a decision, and he has taken his decision. Mm. And I think a good number of us as Nigerians respect his sense of judgment mm. and say, "Look, go ahead. You are independent. Mm. It's your baby." Okay, you just mentioned that Sahiru J guy. Now you you will recall that uh, just uh, about uh, maybe eight weeks or more to the elections, and even two weeks, uh, three weeks to the election. He was one of the most accused individuals. Mm. Uh, even both parties were saying, oh, INEC, uh, Jaga has been compromised. But today he's a man of the people. <laughs> he's a man of the moment, both locally and internationally. He's been uh, applauded. Does that speak of an import of somebody who has chosen to be consistent, regardless of the barrage of criticism that uh, came his way? When you want to know the true Jaga, mm. cast your mind back to when... Uh, uh, Arubebe was misbehaving mm, on him. Mm, mm. And you saw the compartment of mm. Jega, and you saw his reaction mm. and so on. That is the Jega for you. Mm. He is a man who believes so much in whatever decision he has taken, he stands by it. He believes that, look, provided I am on the right path, mm. there is nothing you can do to get me swayed away from the right path. I will remain consistent mm. and I will make sure I deliver. Mm. He has done it in the past. So whatever you could imagine, like you said, both parties at the same time were accusing Jagger. This was saying you are siding with this party. This was saying, and they all meant what they were saying. Not that any of them was playing. Mm. So it just makes a Jagger to sit and laugh. Because when you have, uh, you've given the verdict, <laughs> If you say I'm supporting him and I'm supporting him, then it means I'm actually neutral. In the middle. So let me move let on. Let me move on. Of course, <laughs> he, he indeed moved on. Then he moved on. Today now, he's been applauded. <laughs> well, before we conclude this segment, uh, we're still looking at the 2015 uh, focus is on the supplementary elections. And uh, uh, this is one election that Nigerians just want to get over with. Uh, <laughs> still talking about elections that are going on. Some people are already worked up. But at the same time, we do not have a choice as a nation. We must conclude the elections and at least to the satisfaction of the law. It may not be satisfactory, satisfactory to every, everybody, of course. Uh, some people are still calling for some sort of a rerun, even in the uh, presidential election or governorship election. But at the same time, we <laughs> needed to, to move on. Well, uh, Alassane but is still here, a uh, retired colonel who is very much, uh, I always say he loves Nigeria a lot. And that's why he's here. And we, we're really glad to have you uh, to talk on, on this issue. Before we go for this break, what are your expectations for this uh, rerun? Um, it is my belief that everything will come out quite neat and mm. clear. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm highly optimistic that we shall not have anything to bother about. You know, mm. I'm highly optimistic that we shall not have anything to bother about. Mm. Uh, things will run smoothly. 
results will come out smoothly. Mm. Those who are expected to congratulate others will have to congratulate them, mm. follow in the footsteps of our outgoing uh, president, uh, His Excellency President uh, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, mm. who has placed Nigeria mm. on the global mm. uh, map as one of those countries to be respected mm. when it comes to election matters. Mm. I only hope we shall all toe his line. Well, it's as if the line has been towed, you know. In fact, towing of line started with signing of agreement mm. of how that the election must be peaceful, even if some signed and then did not follow up. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but uh, there seemed to be some sort of uh, congratulations uh, in, in Plateau State, for instance, yeah. uh, the, the, the PDP candidate congratulated uh, the, the winner there, yeah, uh, right, right. someone Lalong, yes, uh, and did say though he wasn't totally satisfied with the outcome of that. Again, you know, so uh, it, it doesn't it speak about the import of setting an example at a very high level? It is, and it's also important that we note the role somebody like Fire Me played hmm. in the whole of this. Sort of setting the tone yes. for that. Yes. When Fire Me did that, I was so moved. Hmm. I was really moved, you know. Then our own president, Jonathan, also did it hmm. to save the country hmm. from whatever. I said, look, I think... Some of our politicians are okay. now becoming reasonable. Mm. So it's not uh, just at the state level now. No, it's not just it's been, at the it's state been, level. It's been instituted at yes. the state level it, and also now instituted at the federal level. It's becoming, it's becoming so infectious that if you don't do it as a politician, I you, think... Nigeria is beginning to see you yes, as Yes, my hmm. friend, you have lost the selection. Congratulate it. If the earlier you do it, the better. <laughs> Can't you beat on President Jonathan's I, I record? Mean, you know, <laughs> beat his record. It speaks, it speaks volume about it leadership. Does. It you does. Know, the the it pivotal does. role. Uh, leadership plays in any setting. And yes. Wouldn't we expect at this point that uh, the same would uh, follow the rerun election in, 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 in uh, these three states, uh, considering the fact that they, be, they, were, they were really, really contentious. In fact, in Abia, something very, very funny happened where uh, coffins were, were brought out to, <laughs> according to what the report said, scare away voters, which is <laughs> really, really uh, interesting, and it's something we're going to look at. What's the import of that in all of these? But at the same time, uh, it speaks of the desperation Thank you. on ground. You use now, the right word. You know, the desperation on ground. Is it, will it be a safe landing in, you know, in these three states? I mean, because we, like you rightly said in Rivers, we just took it for granted, and then it reared its ugly head after the presidential election, the governorship. Now, I mean, will it be a safe landing? I, I seem to, have, uh, to be asking this question a second time, but at the same time, we can't just roll over it very fast because uh, we'll get back to our man, Ajibad Awofeso, mm. who'll be telling us what's happening live, you know. Uh, but will it be a safe landing? Would Nigerians prevail or the citizens there prevail on their leaders to say, hey, if we have to do it a second time and you've won or you've lost, if you've lost, congratulate. If you've won, also congratulate the man for gallantly exhibiting uh, uh, the spirit of sportsmanship. Ima, we shall prevail as a nation. Hmm. Nobody can take us back. Hmm. And uh, there are times I, 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 I keep telling myself, look, I think God loves this country. God really loves this country. Despite all we have gone through, despite all our terrible nature, hmm. God still looks down and says, this is my own. Let them go. Hmm. This is my anointed. Let him move. More like the Israelites. Yes. <laughs> yes, sincerely. Emma, frankly, we shall move on. We shall, put, we, we, we shall scale through. God is with us. Uh, I like the praying spirit of the Nigerian. Okay? Uh, I, I want to believe that God really listens to us. Mm. Once in a while, he turns his direction, he turns his ears in our direction to say, okay, I have had you. No problem. Mm. It is done. Mm. Move on. Mm. We shall scale through. Shall. Nigeria will be great again. Mm. It has started. God has already changed and brought us a leadership that is ready to stamp its feet down. Mm. Nigeria will be great again. Mm. I know what I'm saying. Mm. Buhari's second coming is not a joke. Mm. Despite all the odds, He's not a Christian. He's not gone to school. He is a uh, Sikh. He is this and that. At the end of the day, the Lord still said, this is my anointed son. Let him go change the land for me. And he chooses the one he pleases. That's all. He, 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 
<laughs> His ways are not our ways. Anyway, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I've been speaking with uh, um, a man who has been part of protecting the territorial integrity of this country. And that's not a cheap job. If you look at the way the Boko Haram issue came and how the army has been uh, up and doing, even with all the barrage of criticisms, uh, you know that it's not uh, an easy job. And uh, is, um, Hassan Stan Labo is uh, a retired colonel. And he found time to be with us here in the studio to bear his mind. I say he loves Nigeria. Otherwise, he will not be here. Well, at this point, we'll go for an, a very quick commercial break. Do not go away. It's still Call Digest Extra here on Call TV. 25th day of April, 2015. Stay with us. Introducing Smart Connect, where you get plenty of hoof to allow you to talk, text, and browse in your phone for 10 in the morning. Say, you know, say we just 200 Naira recharge card. Enter the summer me with 200% bonus to learn more with any network. <laughs> mm. Now you not call me your fiance. Relax. In fact, I don't buy your own address in every day. As correct person, anytime I recharge 200 naira and above, Smart Connect they summon me with free internet to browse. If you want to make your family follow you and enjoy, buy your four in one family pack <laughs> for the price of one. Oh baby. <laughs> This girl too, na family and friends. No carry last to buy your Airtel SIM today. Airtel, the smartphone network.